Welcome to CCS TV News, where we bring you highlights and happenings from Coweta County Schools. For the week of April 13th, I'm Dawn Revere. And I'm Josh Johnson. We'll look ahead at coming events for the Coweta County School System. But first... At its April 11th meeting, the Coweta Board of Education honored the members of the East Coweta High School Marine Corps JRTC rifle team, who took third place in recent state shooting competitions and second place in national competitions. East Coweta JRTC instructor Major Pete Merrill introduced his seven-member team to the board at this month's meeting. You can't argue with the numbers. Um, some of these kids, um, these kids have switched in and out all year. Who went to Alabama wasn't the same team that went to Ohio, and it wasn't the same team that went to the states. Merrill also talked to the board about the students' experiences at the matches and coming together as a team. This is nine months a year, probably 12, and it is painful. Um, a lot of these kids start shooting as soon as they join ROTC. Uh, unlike some sports, this is not a lifelong journey. They pick it up in ninth grade, maybe 10, we attach a fire hose, and we go. Uh, these kids have dealt with frustrations, and uh, rifle is about many failures contained by a few victories. Also, at its April 11th meeting, the board honored students selected for this year's All-State Band program. Thank you guys for recognizing these students. Um, first of all, on behalf of all the students that are here, there are multiple thousand students that audition across the state for Allstate each year. There are about 400 that make it out of about 3,000 that start the process, and there's 1,800 that make it to the second round. So these students have definitely made it to the top of the state, and Georgia's a very competitive band state as well. East Coweta High School students Maddie Adams, Palmsuck Kang, Cole Kirkland, Jace Park, and Annabeth Schaefer. Noonan High student Carson Coker and Northgate High student Noah Watson were recognized for their selection into the prestigious program. The All-State Band program and performance was held March 2nd through 4th this year at the Classic Center in Athens. The board also approved the purchase of 10 23-passenger school buses and five 72-passenger buses to replace the aging portions of the school system's transportation fleet. The total for the bus purchases is $1,772,015 which will be paid for from a combination of state pupil transportation funds and local SPLOST funds. Now for a look ahead at events in our school system with East Coweta High student Olivia Rodriguez. Now that schools are back from spring break, there's a lot planned before the end of the Coweta County school year on Friday, May 26th. Newton High School students held their prom on Saturday, April 15th. East Coweta's prom is coming up Saturday, April 22nd, and Northgates will be held Saturday, April 29th. On Tuesday, April 25th, the Kiwanis Club's High Honors Luncheon will be held for high school honors graduates at the Coweta Fairgrounds. Also on April 25th, East Coweta High School recognizes honors graduates that night, and on May 2nd, a second honors night for EC scholarship recipients will be held. Both of these events will be held at the Nixon Center. Northgate High School holds its honors night Monday, May 1st, also at the center. And Noonan High School holds its honors night Thursday, May 4th at Unity Baptist Church. On Wednesday, May 17th, the Central Education Center holds dual enrollment graduation ceremonies at the Nixon Center. Those and other events lead to graduation ceremonies on Wednesday, May 24th for East Coweta High School, Thursday, May 25th for Noonan High School, and Friday, May 26th at the Northgate High School. Other exciting entertainment and activities are coming up this season at the Nixon Center for Performing and Visual Arts. Northgate High's spring musical, Beauty and the Beast, goes on stage April 20th through the 22nd at the Center. East Coweta High School spring musical, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat plays April 27th through the 29th at the center. And this summer, Coweta High School students have the opportunity to rehearse and perform a Shakespearean play in two weeks as a part of the Nixon Center Star Program. Auditions will be held on June 5th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and June 6th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Nixon Center. 
Students who wish to audition for this year's Center Star Program will need to prepare a 60-second Shakespearean monologue to perform, and selected students will work with theater experts on stage combat and Shakespearean dialect. To find more information about Star Auditions and information about tickets, showtimes, and other upcoming school and Nixon Center events, go to www.thenixoncenter.net. Thanks, Olivia. The board also heard that two longtime Coweta educators will retire at the end of the school year. School System Assessment and Accountability Director, Dr. Julie Ration, announced her retirement at the end of the school year. I really see myself more as a support for schools, not so much their evaluator, but let me help you dig into your data mm -hmm. and uncover what are things that you're doing really well and what are some things with a little bit of tweaking we could help you take that next level. Um, this was a decision that took several months to make. Um, I'm gonna get a little emotional because this is my home and a lot of work and very proud of what we've accomplished. It's important to me that I leave this better and when I walk away, this school system is only gonna thrive and I'm excited to watch where they go the next few years. And Madras Middle School principal, Lorraine Johnson, announced that she will finish her career after 17 years as the head of the North Coweta School. I tell um, everybody uh, that I run across, um, it, I'm so proud to be part of a district where every school is top notch. The leadership is top notch, the teachers top notch, and the board and the district support we have and our superintendent, I wouldn't have ever wanted to work anywhere else and it's been a privilege and honor to work with them. The board is also expected to name successors for Ration and Johnson later this spring. Though the school year isn't over yet, Coweta is already thinking about the start of classes for next year. The first day of school for the 2023-2024 school year will be August 2nd, and parents of students who will start kindergarten next year who have never been enrolled in a Coweta school are urged to register their child for school now to avoid longer lines this summer. Registration for the Empower Virtual Learning Program is also available through May 10th through an online portal. We caught up with Coweta's registration officials to learn more. It's online registration through our Coweta County Schools website. Um, you're gonna look for a blue box with registration written in there and um, select online pre-registration. It's gonna walk you through the steps. It's gonna tell you um, what you need to enter, what you'll need as far as documents. Um, and the best thing about it is if you run into any questions or any issues, there's three or four of us here that can answer those questions. You can call us here at 770-254-5551 or on the Website, it gives the email, but you can email us at registrationcenter at coweaschools.net. So any questions you run into, we can help you, but it's very simple. Um, if you have uh, someone that does not have access to a computer um, or any kind of technology, they can come in here and fill out a paper registration, and we can enter that information for them, help them through that process, so they don't have to worry about that as far as technology goes. Also, if we have um, someone that's a two-party affidavit, so that's a proof of residency. Mm -hmm. So you have to prove that you live in this county. If it's in someone else's name, they have to come up here and do that for us, for us to notarize it. But other than that, there's not really a reason to come up here unless they just want to visit. <laughs> Parents can also register their children now for the school system's elementary after school program on May 1st through 5th at their child's school. That brings us to a close for today's show. Thanks so much for joining us. CCS TV will return throughout the year to bring you stories from the Coweta County school system. Now some parting thoughts from Superintendent Evan Horton. As I've noted before, we spend a lot of time in our school system recognizing accomplishment, excellence, and service, particularly at this time of the year. So I'll take a moment to congratulate the six Coweta High School instrumental students who were chosen for All-State Band this year. Being chosen from among thousands of Georgia students in a competitive process to participate in All-State is a testament to their talent, but also a result of a lot of hard work by these students and their band directors. Congratulations as well to the seven East Coweta High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC cadets who placed this year in riflery competitions at the state and national JROTC levels. Hearing Major Pete Merrill describe his cadets' performance at the competitions and their journey through his program will lead you to understand why opportunities like this are so important for our high school students. They help shape young men and women into future leaders, including some who are going on to service in our nation's armed forces. 
We're proud not just of our students' accomplishments, but also that our teachers and schools get to be a part of the adults these students are becoming. Separately, and with some mixed emotions, I want to congratulate Dr. Julie Ration, our Systems Director of Assessment and Accountability, Madras Middle School Principal Lorraine Johnson on their announced retirements. Dr. Ration and Ms. Johnson have both served our community for decades as teachers and school administrators. So did Assistant Superintendent Vince Bass, who retired at the end of the last month, and Northside Elementary Principal Dana Ballou. Both served over three decades in the Cowdy County School System. Our community and our school system is a better place because of them. It can be a bittersweet time of year. It's on our mind a lot that, as the end of the school year approaches, we're going to see longtime leaders and employees retire and watch as students who have developed in our schools since kindergarten prepare for graduation and new adventures. It's also on our minds that as soon as that happens, a new school year and new beginnings will be right around the corner. Please visit our CCS TV YouTube channel for more episodes of the update and other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share our videos. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.